Hello everybody and welcome to my e-lesson. Well, today I'm gonna tell you how to use pivot tables and what are their basic do's and don'ts, understanding of field list, what do we mean by value settings and how to delete a pivot table. This is of course a video, video number one for the pivot table series. This is a very basic introduction to pivot tables and in the next videos you would see how to create pivot tables that make life easier for you all right so before we move on to creating a pivot table uh, or further let us first understand this example uh, i have taken four headers that is region quarter product and units sold the region is for for the complete data set i've taken region one and this is uh, quarter one two three four quarter one two three four that is the four quarters in a year and these are the products that was sold within that quarter and these were the units sold all right now what is a pivot table let us see okay we will create a very simple pivot table we will select the data all right and once we select the data all we have to do is go to insert click on pivot table and this dialog box opens and what does it say select a table or a range we have already selected one uh, where do you want to put in the pivot table well we can have two options either we can put it in a new worksheet which would open over here or we can choose it to choose it to be in the existing worksheet then in that scenario we would have to give in the cell location so this is where i want to have the pivot table i click ok my pivot table is there all right now immediately you see this new uh, display has come up which has all these details and also the field list has come up point number three over here i'll come to this all right let me just show you a brief example of how pivot table can be powerful all right see we immediately i just click two things and oh where did this list go as soon as you click on this pivot table the list would come up if you click out of this table the list would go hide as soon as i clicked on quarter and unit sold it immediately gave me the sale the sum of the sales of quarter one two three four we can just by looking at it tell that quarter two has been the most successful one quarter one the least successful one all right so that this was very basic pivot table we'll come to be, uh, to more details about pivot table but first some do's and don'ts about a pivot table while we're creating a pivot table we have to ensure that all the headers of the uh, that all the columns have defined headers all right it, uh, we cannot have a header to be a blank cell all right otherwise a pivot table won't be created second most important thing is that never have a blank row within the data set neither have a blank column within the data set because in that case the chances are that the results that you'll get from the pivot table may not be as accurate all right so these are the three basic don'ts that you have to take care of otherwise rest everything goes <laughs> now we'll come to understanding the field list it is very very important now if you see the field list actually what it does is that it immediately re starts reflecting the headers that you have put and in the same sequence first we have region then we have quarter then we have product then we have units sold same here region quarter products units sold see and then it has a report filter a columns label a row label and values so these are the four things over there report filter column labels row labels and values report filter is something that i'll cover later first let me come to column labels now to understand column labels uh let's look at this example uh mm -hmm. see i'm putting quarter in column labels and see what is happening that d 
the name of the quarters is now from left to right that is in columns column L column M column N column O so that means that we have moved this aspect quarter into columns and what is our row label how how can we use a row label simply if you move the quarter to row labels the quarters would be listed from top to bottom that is going from row number five six to six to seven and to eight and then you have the sum of units sold over here this becomes really really very very manageable even if you have large data it becomes very easy and manageable to actually uh, analyze it all right now what is this sum of units sum of units is something uh, what is this values values is actually the numbers that are listed over here and you can even ask a pivot table or make a pivot table to calculations for you pre-formatted calculations like over here it is automatically showing you the sum of the units sold which is very reasonable right automatically it showed you we did not ask it to do a sum but it did it itself but we can actually ask it to do a lot of the things like we go to value field settings and this dialog box open up opens up wherein you can actually first of all rename this thing like it is saying sum of units sold i can simply have it units sold all right and then currently it is showing as first of all let me say all right so we change the name we go over here again we go to value settings sorry <laughs> all right now currently it is uh, the, the the default selection is sum so it is showing us the sum we can even have the count selected over here see what would happen quarter one two is five three is five four is five so that means quarter one is mentioned four times quarter two is mentioned five times in this data range and then we can again choose different settings average it would give us the average sales see the average sales in quarter one were 42 02.25 in quarter two it was 43291 4391 in quarter three 4198 and so on so we can very easily tell that quarter two was the most productive quarter in terms of averages and beautiful max max would tell you the highest sales in a specific quarter so in quarter one the highest sale was five six one one here it is in quarter two the highest sale was five two nine nine five two nine nine here it is HTC <laughs> so same way you can look for the minimum sales also this was the least these are the least sales in a quarter and product i believe the next one would be product yes oh we can't have a product custom name is product what happened okay and now we go to unit sitting and we see product what is happening something has gone wrong no problem we'll use another option we can go to value field settings from here we'll select product pivot table field names already why is this happening i did not rename it very simple i'll get back to this in a moment
let's cover point number five delete this pivot table just simply select it press delete create another one control a now shortcut alt n v t alt n v t haha <laughs> is a simple shortcut something goes wrong get it back okay right value field setting and i was on product c now what does product tell me product actually is nothing but the multiplied result of all the values mentioned in a specific quarter like quarter one has four values five six one one four triple nine two three three eight and three eight six one so all these four multiplied together this is their product we can see it over here two five three two zero two three three nine three nine two zero zero nine a very simple way of multiplying things all right and then we would have i believe they would have standard deviation and and these deviations don't matter to us so this is how we understand value field settings now coming to report filter now since we understand uh, pivot tables a little bit more than we did at the beginning of this video I assume that <laughs> now we can actually also understand report filter now this in this example we have taken all these products from a, in a quarter right now we can even have a filter created out of any of these options like I'm creating a filter for product now I can choose just to see the details of the product Blackberry see immediately first thing Blackberry was most sold in quarter 3 and quarter 4 saw zero sales see now it's the same way you can even have multiple selections like i want to see blackberry and htc so this is blackberry and htc just let us see for iphone all right even in quarter four uh, sorry even iphone did not sell in quarter four and quarter one was the highest selling quarter so this is a basic pivot table uh, we learned how to create one what are the do's and the don'ts we understood the field list we understood the value settings very important how to delete a pivot table how to save it simply control s <laughs> all right so in the next video I'll, I'll have a detailed orientation into actually using a pivot table for analysis so until the next video this is your guru do not forget to download forget to download this training file for free from my elesson.org have a great day ahead happy learning